here's what the batteries look like one of them is charged and the other one is not charged yet I just received this two pack of EBL uh, 9 volt rechargeable batteries I'm going to take a look at how they are packaged what comes in the package and uh, weigh them these are the 5400 uh, 5, milliwatt hour version um, comes with the USB uh, micro charging port to it so you just plug it into a cable instead of using a external charger um, first impressions they're really light filled with difference this battery feels like it weighs more than standard battery weighs probably double what the new rechargeables weigh owner's manual it's just the charging cable standard USB plug on one end and a splitter to be able to charge both batteries at the same time make sure they plug in all right yep gonna check and see what these things weigh Four grams, twenty four grams. Let's see what a standard this is one of the Energizer Max nine volt batteries. Yeah, so the rechargeable batteries weigh about half of what uh, a standard nine volt does. Pretty close. I'm gonna charge these. How long? See how long they take to charge coming straight out of the box. So just whatever the shipping charge comes with, uh, then we'll go from there. I'm gonna test how long these batteries take to charge uh, straight out of the box. Um, you can just take this meter and plug them in, and it'll show how long it takes to charge and uh, how much. Uh, capacity it takes to to fill them up and then later I'll uh, go back and discharge them recharge them and see what it takes to fill it up from a uh, the empty state and uh, see what sort of capacity we're getting with these sort of show the state of charge here uh, the amperage that it's pulling with charging them both at the same time and uh, give a good idea on what uh, it takes to fill these up when you get them out of the package since most people will just pull it out of the box and plug them in um, you can sort of get an idea of what it takes before you can use them on the first charge and then once this is done I'll We'll come back here in a minute and take a look and see how long it took to uh, finish it up. Here's what the batteries look like. One of them is charged and the other one is not charged yet. So the green light just shows that it's fully charged and the red light shows it's not fully charged yet. So the one on the left just finished charging. The one on the right should be done shortly. I mistakenly... Uh, reset my charge meter when I was charging up these batteries um, so I'm not gonna have the exact time but it's looking like it's about three hours and 20 minutes to get a full charge with the 
battery on the left and a little bit longer to the one on the right. Um, as you can see, the voltage when it first started charging uh, started off at bringing in 5.5 volts and uh, it had a charge rate of somewhere around 0.5 half an amp uh, that it was charging at. Whereas now, um, when it's close to finished charging, it's, it's dropped down to 0 0.05 or so amps charging rate with it. And both have just finished their charge. So about three and a half hours to get both of these charged from how the way they shipped, which uh, is probably pretty close to uh, the low cutoff limit on these, the way they came in the box. So I'll try to uh, discharge them and then do a full complete charge to get an idea of what uh, the real capacity of these batteries are. I let these batteries settle down after the charge and I'm going to check the voltage on them both and uh, see what they get. Nine point. 09 on this one. Nine point zero on the second battery. This is after they had gotten fully charged, and then I let them set for about ten minutes to settle down. So a little over nine on one and nine on the other ones. What they uh, settled in at after a full charge. Well, I've had a few days now to uh, spend some time with these charging and discharging them. Um, the batteries, the way they're rated, they can be a little bit confusing. Uh, it shows it's 5,400 milliwatt hours, which most batteries, uh, their milliamp hours is the way you do the rating on them. So with something listed as milliwatt hours, uh, you take the milliwatt hours, um, divide that by the voltage, which is about nine volts with these, and then you should come up with around a 600 milliwatt rating with them. Um, with testing these so far, I've been getting somewhere around 660 milliwatt hour rating out of them. So uh, discharging them through the tester and charging them back uh, on average with about I think it's five or six charge discharges um, you get around 660 milliwatt hours on them so that should be what most people will come up with if it's a good battery um, you can also use these uh, to charge on the go just carry a little battery pack with you like this and just plug it in and uh, you can charge on the go like that if you have things like walkie-talkies or other items that you need out in the field to charge. Um, you can plug this directly into a car and charge while you're on the road. So it makes it a little better than the older standard style uh, plug-in wall outlet set up with them. Uh, the sizing of them, I haven't had any issue with them. I've heard other people talk about they may be a little large for devices, but I've tested them in a few different things like this TENS machine, um, smoke detectors, and a few other items. And so far I've had no issue with fit. Uh, this battery, which is actually pretty snug in this device, just standard Energizer 9 volt. Um, it actually is probably larger than, than these uh, EBL batteries just want to make sure to put it in the right direction it just snaps in there pretty secure and not overly tight and uh, not hard to get in and out works just fine for me um, I would recommend them I, they seem to last at least as long if not longer than uh, a standard 9 volt even like these maxes that uh, a machine like this I can get um, using it my wife's got a back problem and running this thing wide open for a few hours it it hardly caused any battery drain on them so 
been pretty happy with them so far. Um, I wouldn't see an issue with putting them in any device I have except for certain electronics that uh, have audio problems with them. So if you use it in musical instruments, that sort of thing, foot pedals for guitars, um, if when you have these type of devices that have a USB charger in them, uh, the electronics in them aren't shielded terribly well sometimes and it can interfere with um, any type of audio device. But I haven't had any audio issues with them in a walkie-talkie I've used. It's It seems to have been fine and not affected it. But any high-precision instruments you may have trouble. You're probably better off with skipping the USB type charger and go to the older rechargeable that just clips into a a charger by itself. Uh, you're probably better off with those. Those tend to not have any noise issues with them. But so far, super happy with them. I uh, wouldn't have a concern buying them again in the future. Um, if you have any questions, uh, comments, just let me know. If you uh, like the video, just like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.